Hey everybody, my name is Jade and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can see from the title of the video, I went to Goodwill and did some thrifting. And I know most people in videos like this, they describe everything that they show, but honestly, I stutter way too much to be doing all that. Also, lol at me trying to push this cart straight down the aisle. It was not working. If you go thrifting, you know they always have the raggediest carts imaginable. Another thing I've noticed about thrift stores is that you'll always find something from LuLaRoe. And if you don't know about LuLaRoe, it's a pyramid scheme and uh, it convinces you that you'll make a lot of money selling clothes. But in reality, no one actually wants LuLaRoe clothes, so then people end up donating them to Goodwill. If you couldn't tell, I am the biggest hater of pyramid schemes because I really don't like companies that take advantage of people and their money. Speaking of taking people's money, I also found this fake Gucci dress. And I really don't mind people wearing fake or counterfeit uh, luxury items because the real luxury items are made of uh, not so great materials, but they just up the price by like a thousand percent. <laughs> so you might as well get the fake stuff. And I say this as someone who does have designer items, because sometimes I look at those items and I think, why did I spend all that money on this when I have thousands and thousands of dollars in student loans? But that's a whole nother conversation that we'll probably get to in a future video. Anyways, for the sake of keeping this video lighthearted, I want to present you this random lunch meat that I found on this chair. Um, at first I was like, wait, is my brain playing tricks on me? Because why would this be in the middle of a store? But then I remembered, hey, you're at Goodwill, where anything can happen. And that's not even the craziest thing I've ever seen at this store. Like one time I saw these two women almost get in a fight because one of them was mad that the other one didn't say excuse me. And it was just way too much drama and confrontation for Goodwill. But in their defense, it was a dollar day sale. And if you've ever been to a dollar day sale at Goodwill, you know that tensions are high. It's crowded, there's kids all over the place screaming. It's just really intense because everyone comes out to get stuff for a dollar, even if they don't need the stuff. It's like, hey, it's a dollar, so why not? Now, people like me, I'm really cheap. If something is a penny and I know I don't need it or want it or won't use it, I'm like, mm -mm, that penny is too much. That is one penny too much. Now, if someone's giving away something for free, Mm, yeah, I might try to convince myself that I need it <laughs> because, you know, it's just like, oh, I might as well, it's free, da, da, da. but I really have to be careful with that because I could easily become a hoarder, seriously, like, I'm the person when I'm driving and I see something on the side of the road, I'm like, yeah, you're coming home with me. Recently started watching people who collect scrap metal for money and it's kind of inspiring me to start but i don't have a pickup truck and i really don't know the intricacies of copper and steel and yada yada but i do understand the intricacies of money and i'm always trying to get more money period and i know i'm not the only one that feels that way especially during times like this where everything is more expensive I can't believe it, and I know everyone talks about this, but when I go to the grocery store and I see certain prices, I'm like, nah, y'all doing way too much right now. Like, it doesn't have to be like this. But that's why I dumpster dive and go to thrift stores. But sometimes I do have to actually, you know, pay retail price for something. Huh, <sighs> the horror. I feel like dumpster diving and thrifting have made me spoiled because I could get so much for very little. And like I said, I still try not to bring too much into my life because I am a minimalist. Uh, but dang, sometimes a deal, I'm like, hey, <laughs> like, do I need that table? Not really, but it's $5. That's why discipline and being a conscious consumer is important because we're constantly being told that we need to consume, consume but it's not necessary. And just because something has a low price or it says it's limited edition, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean you have to buy it. That just means that that company is trying to convince you and brainwash you into buying it because they want your money. At the end of the day, they just want your money. 
example, the designer items that I was talking about earlier in the video, I bought those because I wasn't feeling the best about myself. I thought if I bought expensive things and people saw the logo, that they would think that I was important, that I was worthy, but that's stupid. I feel my best when I'm practicing gratitude for the things that I do have, instead of always seeking out more and new things. Now, it's still hard because like I said, we're brainwashed into thinking the opposite, but there's so many benefits to fighting that brainwashing. And once again, speaking of brainwashing, here's another pyramid scheme, aka Sensi. Stay away. This moment was funny because when I picked up this box, I was like, wow, this feels really light. And then I opened it and realized it was empty. That's why if I'm going to buy things like that at Goodwill, I always check the box. And I pretty much just stay away from all tech because um, they don't let you bring it back if it was bought on a sale day. And I don't like that. I don't like the idea of buying something, going home, and realizing it doesn't even work. I don't care how cheap it is. I simply want the things that I buy to work. <laughs> and apparently that's asking too much. And furniture at Goodwill is really hit or miss. Like that dresser was $20, but this table and set of chairs were $200. And uh, I don't think anything should be $200 at Goodwill, but what do i know these wooden jewelry boxes were really cute but unfortunately broken and i've learned my lesson with buying broken things at goodwill and telling myself i was gonna fix them because i never do <laughs> i'm just being honest so they can just stay there but shout out to the people who are good at taking raggedy items and making them beautiful again like wooden furniture uh, decor pieces they'll just find something on the side of the road that looks like it is falling apart and then by the end of the video it's a work of art and then you have the people who say oh i have no experience doing carpentry or electrical work yada yada and then they transform a whole school bus into a nice rv type thing where they can live in and i'm like dude you do have skills but anyway that's enough random tangents for one video if you got this far thank you so so much and i'll see you in the next one bye da, 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 da.